Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the way to get the highest amount of FPS inside of Roblox Arsenal. So if you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing I'd like to mention is this green number up here is a more accurate FPS counter I've got, as you guys can see. This one's the Arsenal FPS counter, sometimes it isn't too accurate, so I'm not really going to be using that. But anyway, the first settings that we're going to be changing is the ones in the default Roblox settings. So, I'm going to go to the settings, as you guys can see here. And this button here is only available on PC for now. But uh, the default for some people is set to 60. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to want to change it to 240 FPS. The reason for doing this is it will allow you to get so much more FPS. Uh, obviously, this will only have an impact if it isn't already set to a highest or the highest FPS number. The next setting we're going to change is once again in the default Roblox settings and it's graphics quality. We are going to turn this down to the lowest possible if you want the most FPS or just to 2 if you want to be able to see far while still keeping your FPS high. I have it on 2 because uh, 1 and 2 don't really have a significant impact. Anyway, those are all for the Roblox settings. Let's get into Arsenal settings. So to access your Arsenal settings, you need to go to the bottom right. And as you can see, there's a settings button. You're going to click on this. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is you turn off show performance stats because one, this FPS count is inaccurate and number two, this does actually lag your game a very little bit because the number's constantly changing. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on no textures. This will just decrease, or sorry, like increase your FPS because there's less textures being loaded and it just therefore causes less lag. And uh, that's all for this, so we're going to move on to the graphics section where we're going to have the largest amount of impact. So, we're going to turn down the particle quality to off. Now, uh, the particle quality only really happens when you begin shooting your weapon, but basics like the particles that come out of the walls and stuff like that, they can have a significant impact on your game. Next thing I'm going to disable is shadows, kill effects and ragdolls. These all lag your game quite significantly. And uh, the next setting we're going to turn on is basic skins because a lot of skins have really complex stuff and some have unusuals and those significantly lag the game. So the turning basic skins on will disable those sort of visuals and therefore increase your FPS. The next thing I'm going to turn on as well is disable bloom. It just disables the thing from the sun which has a very little impact on FPS but it does impact it a little bit. Uh, I also want to let you know now guys make sure you have both of these off these are off by default But having them on significantly lags your game these these can do more than a half your FPS So make sure you do not have these on and enemy outlines does not impact So I hope this helped you guys. I hope this tutorial was useful if you did like it Please do like and subscribe to my channel as it does greatly help me out and I'm going to see you guys in the next video Have an amazing day guys and goodbye